Pro Tools has four edit modes. Understanding how they work can help you be much more efficient and dope in the studio. <laughs> or should I say doper? What up, y'all? This is your boy, Wavy Wayne. Let's go ahead and look at the edit modes in Pro Tools. You know, the shuffle, the spot, the slip, and the grid. We're gonna go ahead and check those out right now. So, the first edit mode that we're gonna take a look at is shuffle mode. Now, shuffle mode is lit red. You can see that it's lit red right there. What do we know about things that's lit red? Danger! Watch yourself! You gotta be careful in shuffle mode. Shuffle mode, I'd say, is probably the most dangerous edit mode to work in um, for the fact that Moving one clip has uh, effects on the other clips on that track. So any operation that you do where you're trimming or editing a clip, you're going to be affecting all the other clips on that track. All right. So I'm, I'm going to make a little example here. So I have get back in shuffle mode. I have several clips on this track right now. Um, you know, just a few of them. Basically, one thing about shuffle mode is that you cannot move a clip to just blank space. Anytime you move a clip, it has to actually butt up against another clip. So you can only move a clip behind another clip or in front of another clip or all the way to the beginning of the session, all right? Those are your only options in shuffle mode. You can't just move a clip freely wherever you want to. Clip placement is constrained to the other clips in shuffle mode. Now, this is good if you have sections that you are rearranging, um, if you have different parts that you just want to stay together and you're keeping those tight, shuffle mode will be good for that. One thing to remember about shuffle mode is that if you delete a clip between two other clips, the later clip will shuffle forward to fill the spot. Take a look. I'm going to just hit the delete key now. And you see the later clip shuffle forward to fill the space. That is shuffle mode. That's how it works, okay? So again, key things to remember about shuffle mode is that A, do whatever you got to do in shuffle mode and get the hell out of shuffle mode. Um, deleting a clip between two other clips causes the later clip or clips to shuffle forward to fill the space. And this will affect all the clips on that track, not just that one. That's why I say it's very dangerous. Let me give you another example. So let's say I move this clip over here, and I'm just going to chop it up into several pieces. Um, boom. So I got that clip there. I got those specifically placed how I want to. Right? If I come down here and start to edit this clip oh, uh, in shuffle mode again. Let me go back to shuffle. If I start to edit this clip in shuffle mode, look at the later clips. Right? All of those are actually moving. So, shuffle mode, you got to watch out for shuffle mode, all right? Now, you probably asking, and I'm just going to reset this using slip mode, and I'll explain this one in a minute. But you're probably asking yourself now, you know, if, if it's so dangerous, why do they have it on there? What is even the purpose of using shuffle mode? Well, one method of using shuffle mode, one reason to use shuffle mode that I found is that when you need to delete entire sections or let's say if I had a, a, a song where the verse was 16 bars long and the artist only wanted it to be uh, 12 bars long. Well, I could select that last four bars and then delete it in shuffle mode and then the rest of the song would still snap together and everything would be unified, all right? Um, so what I'm going to do here is just make a little selection of audio and then get up in shuffle mode. So we'll see. That's what I'm deleting there. If I delete it, boom, everything shuffles forward and this transition should still be clean. All right, that's shuffle mode. Again, as soon as you're done doing whatever you're doing in shuffle mode, immediately get out of it and change to one of the other modes, preferably slip or grid. Let's go ahead and take a look at spot mode now. Spot mode is where you can move a clip to its precise location using the spot dialog box. Um, so simply, when you're in spot mode, all you have to do is click on the clip with the grabber tool. The spot dialog box pops up. 
you enter the location where you want to move this clip. So let's say I wanted to move this clip to bar 50. I enter that as the start location of the clip, hit OK, and the clip will move just like that. So that's real crucial when you have exact locations where you need to move certain clips. Maybe you're working on a... Uh, a post-production project you add some uh, film some sound to a film maybe you know that at three minutes and 30 seconds there needs to be this door closed so you can click on that door closed clip put in the time of where it goes as you see you can change the time scale here if i want it to be minutes and seconds i can say you know at three minutes and 30 seconds hit okay and that clip will move there just like that the next edit mode is going to be slip Slip mode is the free editing mode. You see, it's green. It's all good when we get in that green, man. So, slip is the free editing mode. You can simply just drag around clips wherever you want to. Uh, clips can overlap in slip mode. Um, deleting a clip between two other clips just leaves a blank space when you're working in slip mode. Um, it's pretty... Uh, free. This is the free editing mode, okay? Um, when you trimming and making selections, everything else is free as well. You can do whatever you want, edit however you need to in slip mode. That's pretty easy, okay? It's the free editing mode. So you can edit without constraints to the grid, which we'll talk about right now. Grid mode is the mode that actually constrains your, your movements to the grid, right? So if you see these blue lines here, these blue lines represent my grid. When in grid mode, you can only make movements that are actually snapping to that grid. So you see my selection snaps to that grid. It doesn't do that in slip mode. I can select anywhere in between this whole thing if I want to. But in grid mode, you're actually going to be snapping to the grid. Okay. Now that's good because if you have your tempo locked in like I do here, I have my actual uh, tempo, which it happens to be the default tempo of 120 beats per minute. Thank you, Noisy Neighbors, keeping it simple. Uh, but if you need to find the tempo, go ahead and watch my other video. I'm going to leave a little link right there. But when you have the tempo locked in, then you can set your grids to bars and beats. You can do that pretty easily just by coming up to the main counter here and choosing bars and beats. And then all the selections that you make will be in time with your song. So, for example, I can just go right here to this little section of the song and let's say I can make a little four bar loop. Right. And it's a nice, clean loop. Um, I can even, you know, make selections of this section and cut it out and then butt that up oh, too far. Butt that up against there. And that should be a nice, smooth transition. Grid mode is really the most powerful editing mode there is in Pro Tools. And so as long as you have your tempo locked in, you can do a lot with it. One more thing I like to do with grid mode sometimes is maybe doing like edits, like stutter edits and things like that. Um, to change the size of your grid, because right now my grid value is set to one bar, meaning all the selections that I make will be a bar in length at least one bar in length. They'll be in one bar increments, all right? Um, I can go up to my grid value selector, which is right at the top of my edit window here. Make sure that bars and beats is selected and then change my grid value size. So let's say I wanted to do a stutter edit, maybe of this kick drum, I'll go to an eighth note and select that first eighth note, copy and paste it. Let's see. Ooh, get a little double stutter, right? Maybe even duplicate that again. All on grid. And I know that everything is going to be in time because I'm using my grid mode. And I have my tempo locked in, all right? So those are the four basic editing modes of Pro Tools. Uh, shuffle, spot, slip, and grid. Make sure you pick the right one for the right job. And... Uh, be dope.